What's up, y'all? My name is Devontae, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. You know, I contemplated whether or not I wanted to make this a video. I really sat there and I thought about it. Is Kevin fucking Patrick worth making a video about? Then I thought about it. No, nah, Kevin Patrick is not worth making a video about. This is a this is a broader point in professional wrestling that I feel needs to be discussed overall. So first and foremost, because this is what made this video a thing, we do need to talk about Kevin Patrick for a little tiny bit. So, news broke a couple of days ago that apparently he was pulled from the SmackDown commentary booth. People speculated, they were like, oh, is this a lie? Because apparently some um, unreputable, I don't want to say unreputable, maybe that's not the right word to say, just a source. I can't remember what source said it, but I remember a lot of people saying, like, you know, it was one of those... um wrestling news sites that just kind of came out of nowhere no one knew who the person was no one had any past history in order to um, corroborate anything with uh some of their previous um uh some of the previous confirmations and whatnot as far as that source is considered so no one really took it seriously per se and everyone was saying let's just wait till friday to see whether or not it's confirmed that kevin patrick is no longer on commentary well as the weeks started to build up, or weeks as the days started to build up it seems like a bunch of people kept com confirming the information and it culminated in what I guess right about now, probably like two minutes ago, I got a notification saying that WWE just released Kevin Patrick, AKA the dude just got fired from his job, which sucks. I can only imagine how it would feel to be one day in a position where because like how long has he been doing commentary with Corey Graves by himself on SmackDown like what maybe two weeks now maybe three weeks but it feels like he's been there for around two weeks I could be wrong though I'm not really sure to think that hey one minute I'm sitting up here on top of the mountain and now man you you roll down that you roll down that mountain like a goddamn avalanche it, it sucks it really sucks and to, to be quite frank I will say this and I've said this plenty of times to wrestlers who were released. It, it's never good to lose your job. That absolutely sucks. It's not as if I never thought that Kevin Patrick was decent as far as being an interviewer is concerned. I don't see why not, like why he can, you know, be backstage on some of the panels for some of the WWE Network specials. Or he could have been on that bike disc stuff. Or he could have been on the, uh, what's it called again? That little backstage shit that they do all the time. Um, the, the, the bounce, the break, the whatever the fuck that shit's called. That Kayla Braxton runs for the most part. You know, there are multiple jobs if he was going to be an on-air talent that I felt that he could have thrived in. Obviously, there are other positions that he could have done also backstage. I don't know the circumstances as to whether or not he maybe turned that down. And WWE just figured, you know what, fuck it. Let's just get rid of the guy. I don't know. Maybe they had him figure to do one thing and he couldn't do it. And they were just like, you know what? We don't really have time for you. That sucks. Anyone losing a job, no matter who you are, no matter what you do, it fucking sucks. And I do wish they could have found him a better spot just so he can keep his job. It is what it is, though. Unfortunately, he's no longer around as far as WWE is concerned. I hope he can find better work. I hope he can prosper and I hope he can make a bunch of money. That just sucks in the end of the day. But with that being said, though, do I blame WWE for firing him? Maybe they stepped too far as far as firing, but removing him from commentary? Absolutely not. I absolutely don't blame them for removing him from commentary. He fucking sucked. Kevin Patrick was horrible when it came to the commentary booth. Like I talked about, it's funny. I, it's like I talked this into existence. I never really talk about Kevin Patrick at all in regards to his commentary. And then I make one remark this past Friday, 
And now all of a sudden, the dude is off a of commentary. And I made note of the fact because it's true. I, I said, if I remember correctly, the dude sounds like the wheelchair kid from Malcolm in the fucking middle when he gets excited. I can't believe it's just happening. Dude, you guys understand what you mean? What, 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 this is the greatest thing of all time. I do. Like, what, what? How are you doing that right now? Like, bro, you're going to die from deprivation of air. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't, I'm going to die from deprivation of air. Holy shit. Talking too fast right now. But yeah, that's essentially what's his shtick, where, like, he would get excited and he would, like, take the longest inhalation and then exhale, like, at, I, I, I don't know. He should have been an Olympic sw- He That's where he lost his call. He should have been an Olympic swimmer. He would have been, he would have thrived in that fucking shit. And he just had no clue how to essentially convey himself to the rest of the audience at home. And he was just there. It was like it was like the closest thing to a default seed. If there was ever such thing as a, a create an announcer for the video game, he'd be default template number two. That that's how fucking common and average and boring he was. You know, now what I put him on par with that Adnan guy, I forgot his name. <sighs> That Adnan Vivek guy, wherever the fuck that guy's name is, no, he's not that fucking horrible. Would I put him on par with uh, Mike Adamley? No, he wasn't that horrible. But essentially, he was he was along the lines of that, maybe a step above those guys, which is not really saying much. But the thing that kills me the most though is like we're, we're, we're pretending as if this is just a WWE problem now. Here's something that you guys probably don't agree with me on, and you're probably going to be like, Devontae, what are you talking about? No, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. That's one thing AEW does better than WWE is their commentary team. I will definitely say that. Take away Excalibur for a second. Excalibur fucking sucks. But if you put Taz and Tony Schiavone and Excalibur to explain the nerdy moves, like, like put Excalibur in that Mike Tanay spot like he used to be back in WCW, and Taz is playing the brain role, and Tony Schiavone's playing the, well, the Tony Schiavone role, <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's good, I, I never really hated AEW's commentary team, their shit's, with the exception of Excalibur, their shit has always pretty much been on point in comparison to WWE lately, and really, all WWE has at the moment is pretty much Michael Cole, like, I will say, Corey Graves is getting better, I, I would definitely say that, he, he's getting better, he's nowhere near as fucking annoying and terrible as he was a couple of months ago, or a couple of years ago, excuse me, he's still not perfect, I still wouldn't consider him good per se, he still annoys the shit out of me, and I hate his douchebag personality, which I guess essentially he's doing his job right, if he's supposed to be a heel commentator, but like, he, he's getting better, and, and, and quite, in all honesty, you know, like, if you really want to have a leading announced team, it probably should be Michael Cole and uh, Corey Graves. Way better than noise the shit out of me. His stupid ass British accent is even worse. And it's just so manufactured and fake. I mean, Corey Graves is manufactured and fake also, but he's been on commentary long enough where he could kind of like make fun of himself sometimes. Way better just fucking sucks. I don't care what anyone tells me. And I hate Pac McAfee also. He's way too over the fucking top. Really, the only two people that you have that are decent and Michael Cole is very underrated i I've, I've i've always said that even going as far back as the smackdown days with taz i always said michael cole was underrated he never gets the credit that he deserves michael cole is fucking excellent i'm not saying he's jim ross or gorilla monsoon or anything like that or jesse ventura or hell even vince mcmahon himself he's not that good but he's always been super underrated so essentially all you pretty much have as far as good commentators are Corey graves and michael cole Everybody else is just fucking horrific. And like I said, in comparison to AEW, where there's a bunch of excitement on the commentary booth, Tass has always been a great color commentator. Tony Schiavone is fucking awesome. And at the very least, Excalibur is there to kind of just make mention of the moves. That's how it should be done. That's good. That three-man booth actually kills everything in WWE currently at the moment. I mean, maybe not... Ugh. No, I like them more than Michael Cole and uh, Corey Graves as a, as a duo. Michael Cole overall is better than all of them combined. But I mean, like as a duo, I prefer. You know, <laughs> you, you got it. That's the thing, too, man. Look, we're in a new era, bro. We're in a new era of professional wrestling. Vince Man is no longer around, right? Right. That element is completely eliminated. You need to not look towards these people who are super professional and they're clean cut and they get their little sports jackets on and there's they they just look nice on television. Nah, bro, you got to get someone out there who knows what they're doing, 
They're fun to watch. They're fun and they're engaging. Okay. That needs to be your color analyst. Like we haven't had a good kind of color analyst since a Michael Cole, honestly. And people are going around. They're speculating. Oh, was this uh cause I've seen someone see it in the comment session and that's it. I can see where you're going with that, but hear me out for a second. People are like, Oh, well, did they just do this to Kevin Patrick so they can make room for someone like Amaro Ronaldo, you know, to bring him on SmackDown or whatever to uh, do uh, to do commentary with Corey Graves? And the thing is, some people may bring that up and they say to themselves, yeah, that's a great idea. Bring in Amaro Ronaldo. Yeah, 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 Amaro Ronaldo. Uh, and I made a video about this about four years ago. Let me remind you guys, Amaro Ronaldo is uh, a mental nutcase. And people are going to probably be like, Devontae, why would you say it like that? That's very insensitive. Uh, maybe you don't know who the fuck I am. You might want to go through my catalog. Uh, yeah, no, he's a fucking nutcase. He's easily fragile as fuck. He's depressive as shit. Uh, he is unreliable as all hell. No, do not bring in Amaro Ronaldo at all. Now, on in the, in the perfect universe, his skill set definitely provides... Uh, the necessary assets in order to be in that position and in any other case i would love to have Mar uh, Mar Ronaldo on uh, commentary doing stuff with Corey graves that right there's pretty good Mar Ronaldo and Corey graves on smackdown on raw you got uh michael cole and way barrett who i would much prefer not being that role but he's a lot better than pat mcafee in my opinion so i guess it is what it is that that's a good that's a that's a solid you know we have michael cole to carry the commentary booth for way barrett on raw and Corey graves and mar ranallo on smackdown yeah perfect world only thing is the ch you are taking a gamble on mar ranallo it's like taking a gamble on like kylie ray chick it's just you bring them in the one like what you throw a leaf you throw a paper ball at mar ranallo that dude's gonna fucking crumble and he's gotta go run back and say i i can't do this I had a mental health disorder, and it's starting to flare up, man. That guy behind me, yeah, he, he threw a paper ball at my foot, and he was like, Mauro, you mispronounced the name. I, I, I can't do this, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having an anxiety attack. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going gonna, gonna to Minecraft myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skibbity Minecraft myself, and it's like, is this, is this what you guys really want to do? Maybe you forgot this is how Mauro Ronaldo operates. It's not worth the hassle. It's really not. And honestly, I don't know what they can do because it's a lot easier, in my opinion, to go around looking for a color commentator versus looking for a standard commentator, like an actual play by play guy. Because a color commentator, you can literally just pull someone off the roster who's not really doing anything, who has some decent mic skills, who can go in there and, you know, be colorful and be funny. It's not that hard to look for a color commentator. I mean, granted, they still have to play off the play by play. And they have to get used to it, but it's not as hard from the looks of it compared to finding a guy who could do play by play, a guy who can, you know, look at the moves and convey the story and, you know, bounce off of that color commentator. Because Kevin Patrick was so bad at this. Usually, from my understanding, it's the play by play guy who's the one directing traffic. Kevin Patrick was so fucking terrible at this. It kind of felt like Corey Graves was the one kind of leading the way most of the times, which is weird as fuck because he's the color commentator definitely should be the other way around even though i will say at this point that Corey grace has gotten experience i don't know the answer as to who can be a play-by-play -play. I, I really don't but the person who you find should definitely be someone who's associated with professional wrestling who understands professional wrestling and in all honesty if you really want my if you really want my honest opinion you know who should probably play that role legitimately if they can find him if he's available get kevin kelly yeah, Kevin Kelly has always been on point. I heard his commentary in New Japan Pro Wrestling the few times that I was, you know, passing by to see what the fuck was going on. And the stuff that he was doing on Collision, yeah, Kevin Kelly has always been top-notch. He, he's very familiar with the product. He was there back in the days during the Attitude Era when he was an interviewing and everything. And he was, I think he did commentary a few times also, even during the Attitude Era. Yeah, Kevin Kelly, he, he, he he's that guy. He's that guy. If you want my honest opinion, that's the guy who should be filling in the role right now for um, SmackDown. And I guarantee you, he can play off because he keeps up with the he keeps up with the product nowadays. Also, you know, yeah. If you if you're asking me if he's not under contract with AEW right now, go get your hands on Kevin Kelly. That's that's where you need to do. That's that's the goal. That's the path. Not Mar Ronaldo. No. In a perfect world, Mar Ronaldo will be nice, but no. 
Kevin Kelly. In fact, maybe Marvel and all of us should go to AEW. That's where he fits. Maybe some of the fanboys over there will probably suck him off and probably put him in a comfortable state. Good golly, Miss Smiley. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I don't think I sounded too malicious. Maybe I did, but if you actually take what I say seriously when I'm being, you know, when it's clearly in a joking manner, then I don't know what to tell you, dude. I mean, go go skibbity yourself also in Minecraft. What the fuck do you want me to tell you? Self delete yourself. Don't do that. Don't no, really don't don't do that. I love you guys. Give me a hug. Come on, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in, give me a hug. Oh, hug me tight. Hug me tight. Hug me tight. If you're a guy, let me get the fuck like get the fuck off me if you're a guy. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I don't play those games, bro. Fuck wrong with you. Shrug my shoulders off. <sighs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you got some other commentaries that I just probably not mentioned and I'm just too retarded to remember or not know because I'm, una I'm an uneducated swine, bring it up too. And, you know, I can probably be picked that in the comment section for and I can come back and tell you why you're a stupid ass motherfucker who should probably do more of his time than sitting around trying to figure out commentators' names. Go ahead and do that. But as always, my name is Devante and I'll be catching you fine for clear a deuces and a pee motherfucking eyes.